Good day once again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn the second topic on the basic calculus review series on my YouTube channel. And still we will be discussing the limit of a function. The objective, the main objective for today is that you will be able to illustrate the limit. Same as the first video, no? illustrating the limit, but now using graphs. Because in my first video, we used their table of values. So, for, so before watching this video, I want you to watch first the first video before this, okay? And hindi ko pala nasabi sa first video kung sino ang makaka-guess ng pinakamaganda kong background in the comment box, my plus points. Okay? So my plus points ha, ang unang makakomment ng tamang sagot. Decential skills, graphing. Okay, you may say, ay wala pa kong idea sa graphing. It's okay at the moment because most of the time, the concept here that we will be discussing is that given na po si graphs. Given na po ang mga graphs. Hindi na kayo ang mag-graph. But at at least, if you have the idea of graphing na, graphing polynomial function, graphing linear function, graphing quadratic function, so much the, the concrete examples in your mind are much clearer, clear, clearer, clearer, and a motivated stuff. But again, if you don't have the idea yet, no, for graphing, it's okay. As long as you are motivated. Again, this is the key now, a motivated self. Mindfully, I love to learn math. I love to learn math. But I tell you, this is just the basics in basic calculus, no? Since, uh, uh, and because this, kasi na did, uh, we are discussing this in the first meeting, so basic talaga ito. But again, these basics should not be forgotten or should not be taken for granted lang na, ay, I should not learn that, okay lang na ako, go na ako sa derivative. No, because importante po na dapat yung malaman ito. You must have the mastery because limits are backbone of calculus. Ah, just a sort of review. Limits are backbone of calculus and calculus is the mathematics of change. We'll be talking sooner or later why do we consider calculus as the mathematics of change, okay? So, and a review, sort of review. Again, this was discussed in detail in my first video. So, please, watch my first video that's a 36 minute video so please do watch motivated ka dapat in watching ha ngayon motivated self lang ang pinaka importanteng essential skill if you're not motivated again useless lang po ang internet ng parents nyo at ang time mo so if i were you magdraw draw ka na lang if you have talent at the moment but again if you are motivated na listen as a sort of review, the limit of a function describes how a function behaves as the independent variable gets closer close to a certain number. Okay, so for example, here, this is read as the limit of f of x as x approaches to c is l. Ha? Huh? Okay, and now, since we are done with the graph, a uh, table of values, again, we can find the limits using TGT. Table of values, graphs, theorems. Theorem as the easiest. Table of values as the most essential for me, ha? Huh? Graph, the easiest. <laughs> if you are provided with graphs. Now, we are just using these four examples. So, sa video, sa first video, nakalimutan natin si plus 3. May plus 3 ito, ha? Huh? So, i-continue na natin na may plus 3 ito. Okay, so now let's have graphs. Again, table of values in my first video, like what I'm always saying there, explaining and highlighting, is that uh, that process is the very basic process. When you forget or forgot theorems or how to graph or the idea of graphing, then go to using table of values. That I know you will get a correct answer. If you are to find the limit, investigate or give the limit of a given function. Okay, for graph, <clears throat> this is the easiest. Sa sinabi ko kanina, if given na siya. If given na si graph talaga. Kasi, mata lang po ang gagamitin natin. Beautiful eyes nga. Mm, diba? Ganyan lang po ang gagamitin natin na skill. Kung given na. Pero kung hindi, 
ay kung ako, babalik ako sa table of values if I don't know yet the theorems. Okay? Table of values ako. So, example, find the limit of 1 plus 3 of x. Ano? 3 of x. 1 plus 3x as x approaches 2. Okay? So, in this case, given na si graph. This is the given graph. Okay? So, 5. So, meaning, this is 1. This is 2. This is 3. This is 4. Kasi 5 na to, 6. Okay? So, sabs, baka sasabihin nyo, Sir, saan ko ba ibabase si x as approaches 2? Doon ka sa x-axis. Dito, sa independent. So, ito si 2. So, like what I said, kung graph lang, mata-mata mo lang. So, ano ang point na na tungod? What's the English or the Tagalog? Uh, the corresponding y-ordinate. Y-coordinate, I mean. So, here. Ang na tungod. Ay, help me Tagalog comment Here. Okay. So, in this case, the limit is 7. Diba? The ocular lang, check up. Ocular check up. So, in this case, kasi, the same concept. We approach from the left and approach from the right. Now, let's use graph. So, from the left of the graph, we this values, these are values from the left. What if from the right? Let's use different colors with sound effects. Pak. Ay, okay. Kasi dito lang talaga si 2. Si 2. Here, si 2 ang constant natin, guys. Si 2, si 2. Hence, this point here is 2, 7. Hence, the limit is 7. Wow. Uh, ang easy lang pala. Again, acting. Repeat, may acting. Uh, ang easy lang pala. Uh, ang easy lang pala. Ganyan. Ganyan lang po kung graph. If given na, again, si graph, easiest siya. Pero kung hindi, uh, go ka sa table of values. Pero baka sabihin nyo, Sir, bakit ganyan ang graph? Okay, let's review a little bit lang sa graphing. But I have discussion. I'll be having discussion about that. Pero as a sort of review. So, this is the given function. So, f of x equals 1 plus 3x. Ano nga ang basic natin na... Uh, dapat malaman if we graph linear, the intercepts. Sige lang. This is just a sort of review, pero malalaman nyo yan. Kung intercepts ang pinafind natin, kung x-intercept is 0 si y. Diba yun? So, kung, so kung x-intercept, or ano nga yun? And y-intercepts. Diba? Kasi, in geometry, two points determine a line. So, if you have example here, for example, dito lang at Example, this is the one point and this is the another two point. And it determines now a line. So, my graph ka na. So, ang basic, pinaka-basic lang sa graphing. Again, I, I'm just reviewing here graphing, pero no need to review na if you have learnings na, no? Because, like what I said, this part two of the discussion is already providing graphs. Pero kung hindi pa pinurvide, table of values ka. Go ka sa table of values. I'm just reviewing this. So, kung si x0... Kung x daw si 0, so si y, anong value ni y? So, let's solve. So, let's use blue. So, y equals 1 plus 3 times 0. Kasi 0 na daw si x. So, y is equal to 1 plus 0. y is equal to 1. Ah, 1, sir. Oh, we have 1 point na. 0, 1. Ha, we're using intercepts here. What if 0, c, si y? Okay, the same concept. Gamitin nyo y equals to 1 plus 3x, the same here, the same function. So, si y naman ang 0, 1 plus 3x, okay? Tapos, transfer si 1, basic algebra in elementary, how to get rid of 3, divide both sides, so x is negative 1 third. So, negative 1 third, sir. And we have two points. In this case, we can now determine a line. Okay, let's use lang here the illustration. Erase lang muna natin kung same lang ba talaga. Ha? Pero yun na han, explain ko na ang limit dito. <clears throat> okay. So, we have 0, 1. 0 si x, 1 si y. So, here, this is the point. Pero we will expect na nandyan lang talaga siya. 
0, 1. Okay? We have negative 1 third and 0. So, saan ang part na negative 1 third? This is 1. So, 1 half, 1 third. Okay, so ito. This is negative 1 third. This point is negative ay, nako, 1 third, 0. So, we have two points. Again, if i-connect natin siya, so the same line lang po ang makukuha natin. Okay? Again, I'm just reviewing the idea of graphing. Pero, sa concept na ito, I mean, sa examples na to, provided na si graph. So, if provided na, easy na lang kasi matamata na lang, no? Sabi ko sa iyo, beautiful eyes na lang ang gagamitin. Okay? Pero, I gave you the idea na yan pala ang idea sa graphing. Okay. Example number two. This is the graph of x squared plus 1. So, we will find the limit as x approaches to negative 1. So, hanapin lang natin si negative 1. Ang papunta dito, it's the positive. Ang papunta sa left, negative. Ay. So, agad-agad dito. So, using the idea values from the left, so with sound effects, to 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 Yes, it's up to you na. I'm just showing the process, the same sa table of values, na we move from the left and we move from the right. Kung the same lang ang patutunguhan niya, yan ang limit. Para mag-connect nyo lang na sa graphing at saka sa table of values, same din lang pala ang concept. Okay? So here, uh, this uh, example in my first video was an assignment, di ba? Using table of values. Pero ngayon, provided na si graph. This is the graph of the limit, I mean, the absolute value of x. Now, we will find the limit of the absolute value of x as x approaches to 0. Anong ibig sabihin ng absolute value? Meaning, absolute value of 1 is 1. Absolute value of a negative number is positive. Now, it's 1. So, kaya, ganito ang itsura ng graph. So, kung 0, so, dito si 0, dito din ang y, ay Agad-agad, 0, sir. Kasi diba, this point here, it's the 0, so that's 0, 0. So, using the ta 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 with some effect from the left, ta 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 here. So, 0 kasi, diba si x. From the right, ta 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 Ay, dito mag-reach pa rin sila sa same value. And that's it. We have 0 as the limit. So, may idea ka na sa assignment sa first video. 0 ang limit, pero I want you to show the table of values, the values that you chose. Okay? Example number 4. Okay. So, first example natin, we have here DNE. Di ba? Dapat makita natin sa graph na DNE talaga. Ngayon, may plus 3 na ha? Plus 3, I want you to look at the first video watch pala para malaman mo nga bakit in detail ko na may plus 3. Okay, this is the graph of this piecewise function dalawa. Now, we have x approaches to 4. So, saan ka mag-look or mag-refer sa x-axis? So, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4. So, you will look at the values sa graph. So, kung like what you asked earlier, kung pwede lang ba i-point mo lang, pwede. Pero, this one, this one, this one. Uy, this is 4, 3. Baka sabihin mo, sir, 3 na ang limit. May isa pa. Look at the graph pa. May isang graph pa sa taas. So, kasama pa siya. So, sir, may, may 5 din. Hala, bakit? In that case, D and E talaga siya. Because this is a piecewise function. Isang function, isa pang function. So, we expect two graphs. So, if we follow the way sa table of values na we move from left. So, this is it. This is the graph from the left. So, do 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 Okay, so you will have 4, 5. So, 5 ang limit from the left, ha? If you're asked for one-sided limit or this limit from the left, it's 5. Pero we're asked for the limit. So, this is the whole, the limit itself. So, from the right, 
de 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 ta. We sir, it's four three. Bakit different? I if that's the case, kung different, the limit does not exist, di ba? Makita din sa table of values, like our example in the first video, and using graph. But again, if graphs are provided, then graph or using graph is the easiest method in looking or in giving the limit of a function. Pero kung hindi, oh example, i-delete natin si graph. Example lang ha, ma-delete ba to? Sige, so walang graph. Oh, so ito lang. Mag-graph ka pa ba na mag-take pa ng mga... Uh, if you 10 minutes or ikaw 15 minutes kung hindi ka masyadong kung hindi mo masyadong alam ang graph 30 minutes so one na ubos na ang time mo number 1 ka pa lang so table of values na pero kung provided ay basic lang di ba that's just it that's just the concept sa graph ha huh? wow t g t Table of values, perfect na ako, sir. I know that already. Graphs, must perfect, sir, if provided. Theorems. So, may isa na lang. Table of values, graphs, and theorems. But before you assess yourself that you truly have known or truly understood na the graphs, I want you to answer this at home. One, two, three. Again, ocular lang, no? Inspect nyo lang. Oh, may mga given na nga dyan na answer. So, give na lang sa comment box ang answers nyo. And, number four. Okay. And, happy learning everyone. See you!